Well, thank you all for coming in. I know it's the holiday season and we're all very busy, but um, we have got our request in from a number of voters. All right, it's exciting. So um, I thought it might be uh, good to have let the chief walk through uh, the ones that came in, and we brought in some uh, a few things uh, for us, and then the, the select board chair had a number of questions she would like us to look at um, while we consider making a record before we consider making a recommendation back to the board and some cost projections that she's worked out uh, based on um, the sort of worst case, the highest, the one of the not the highest bid, but um, worst case is not the way I wanted to yeah. say. Um, a um, um, average cost of, of, of the bids that came from that. Thank you. Well, we received uh, uh, five uh, proposals, and these are listed in no order other than their alphabetical order. Uh, no order of preference. Uh, Benchmark uh, did not quote a final price. What they quoted was $200 a square foot plus. 20,000 for civil design, town meetings, 40 to 45 for mechanical engineering, 15 for structural design and engineering, and 20 to 25 for architectural design. And I estimated that, oh, to be roughly 1,494,000 benchmark. So I'm just Sure, oh, I'm just at. seeing designs though. Where is the actual physical work? Or is this just the proposal for design? No, these aren't the proposal well, was to make one, right? Uh, I, I know there are actually copies floating around here, so okay. there, there are like six more copies of these here for everybody. Like this, this is from Benchmark. Okay. And um, their quote was specifically just like that. It didn't have a bottom figure. Yeah. It just said twenty dollars square foot, blah, 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 where you see the other ones actually have it. A, a, a bottom line figure. So when you came um, to the million four ninety four, that was based upon their, their right their square their uh, their plan with their uh, square footage okay. plus twenty forty five fifteen twenty five. Okay, so your, the two hundred square foot is the is to build the building, the two hundred square foot. Right, it's just the cost that's to build, build the building. Build the building. Oh, and this is your yes. designs. Okay, now I get and it. They, they right. added the designing and everything else on top of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, best way homes. Let me go back. Benchmark is on-site stick dope. Uh, best Way Homes is modular. And for everything, it's $1,160,315. That's complete. That's complete. Okay. Does that include the fire sprinkler, fire pump, generator, MEP engineering? Yes. Okay. Um, that was one of the two... Uh, one of the three that actually have the design built built into the into the, the bottom line figure. Uh, Carino construction is stick built on site, and their price, as they quoted, it was one million two hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars, plus sixty-eight thousand dollars for a fire sprinkler system, twenty-five thousand if we need a fire pump or the sprinkler system. Uh, and they just threw in the cost of $58,000 for one as a generator this time, and $12,000 for the mechanical, edu mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and plumbing engineering. So you take one million two thirty-seven, and then, then add sixty-eight twenty-five as well. But you weren't looking for a generator at that time, at this time. No, we were just looking for generator hookup. Okay. Plug in ready okay. to go type of thing. Okay. What about the sprinkler? Um, by code, according to the code enforcement officer, that we do not have to have it. However, the fire department is recommending that uh, that we get it. I know you're within the hydrant district too, aren't you? Yeah. So that's without the generator, though, right? That's without the generator. Yeah, okay.
next one, growing construction, that is the uh, ICF method, the insulated concrete form, similar to the Farmington, is that the Farmington one that we, we visited? And um, their price was $1,120,000, $12.97. And that concludes everything. And then Ritchie Construction, uh, $1,197,770. And Ritchie Construction would be on site, stick off as well. Can I ask another question? All right. Okay, so the ICS, the one in Barrington, at Farmington, that is like a really secure built building, right? Versus stick build, if you had any kind of. Um, major storm or whatever versus stick. I mean, that was the one that had it's more right, of a... Right, right. It's highly energy, energy, yeah. right. it's highly in, energy, uh, energy efficient. It's uh, fire resistant because you're talking cement wall as yeah. opposed to uh, stick build. It's uh, more storm resistant and the, the walls are, are uh, significantly more bulletproof as opposed to regular stick, uh, stick build. Um, and the cheapest one in the whole pie. Slightly more expensive than the Ritchie construction, but yes, you're right. No, it's cheaper. 120 and 197. 197, but it says 1120. Yeah. No, I had <laughs> the same reaction initially. That's oh, right. Okay, so, wow. Mike isn't fully recovered yet. But having said that, mm -hmm. um, when Groen submitted theirs, um, everyone else had a 90 foot wide building. Mm -hmm. Theirs was 84 foot. Um, it was significantly reduced the, reduced the, room, the, the size of the conference room and the central records. I'm sorry, which one? This was Richie? No, this was Brewer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and again, just let, you know, give you some history. You know, we've been working with Rowan and the best way since the beginning. They were the first two that mm -hmm. stepped up the plate. And they were doing something and said, hey, let's, let's throw you an estimate way back when. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was Rowan used the original drawing from many, many months ago. And what we did, we, at some point, we added the six feet to give us the, the larger conference zoom and, and more central records. Mm -hmm. So if you so if you added, to make every single building the exact same size, so if you added an additional 360 square feet to Groen's uh, estimate, it would finally come out to 1,180,993.37. Mm -hmm. And he would, I mean, he would, knowing that you did that that number, he would build that, what we wanted, and not the 84 foot one, right? I mean, if he would. Well, correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So just a quick regard, I looked through all the plans, and uh, all of the plans, uh, you know, uh, um, provide the room that we need, the, the amount of rooms that we need. Um, it all allow us to have a larger conference room, so that the public can use that conference room. Um, adequate storage, adequate uh, central records. As I mentioned, growing, uh, they're significant, significantly more energy efficient, the fire resistant, storm resistant, the bulletproof walls, etc. Um, best way homes. That's the modular design. There are some things in there, but size-wise, room-wise, it's okay, but there's something I don't through the plan that I would ask them to take out. Like, they have uh, two toilets in each locker room. We just need one. Um, you know, just minor things like that. Two sinks in each locker room. We need just one. We have two showers in the men's room. We just need one. Just minor, minor things like that. So that was the best way. That was the best way. And all of the other ones, um, I know this one is listing the different ones, but this had fire um, sprinkler and and. Um, right, they all have fire fire suppression, with exception of the one that uh, indicates that it's actually. Yeah. Okay. So every all the others have it. Correct. Okay. And hook up for generator, but not the generator. Correct. Okay. 
one thing that stood out with Richie was he was going to provide uh, one of those drop down ladders that go up to the attic. Mm -hmm. um, he's the only one that mentioned having uh, storage up in the attic. Um, they added uh, tanks in tanks for floor drains, like for the garage areas that can be pumped out every now and then, uh, and into some windows. Now, just to make sure I am telling, this is just a police station. This is not an administration right. at, this and point, at this point. Okay, so all of these are designed that you could add a second floor if you needed to? Do you know the capacity? Um, I would say no. No, okay. Yeah. Um, if you, if there was, you know, I, I guess my feeling is that if at some point you're, you're thinking about putting a second floor on, you should probably do that right away as opposed to that was my thought at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And in doing so, uh, you would have to have room for an elevator mm -hmm. and a uh, stairway path. Yeah. So within the building that within, already within exists. The current, yeah, so, they so, so it might there. make the building just a little bit, little bit bigger. Yeah. And um, I would think probably some type of a fire escape system on the back. So you mm -hmm. have two two methods of it. Escape. You mean from the second floor? From the second yeah. floor, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, I'm sorry, Richie was the only one to have the stairs to the attic and the pumping, the, the, the drain tanks for the yeah. in floor drains, yes. Um, benchmark, they provided no specific construction details in their plan here. cement siding as opposed to uh, vinyl siding. Is that for energy efficiency? That's for uh, maintenance. Okay. maintenance. Are they all going to look pretty much like that? Some of it, I guess. Similar. Yeah. Okay. They were all instructed to make it residential in nature. Mm -hmm. it, did, it, it could not look like a municipal building. It could not look like a <coughs> commercial building. Okay. Um, but this, this is the design that's been proposed by Groen. So that's their design. Oh, okay. That's the idea. That's the idea. Yeah. So, um, you know, and speaking with the folks, originally I had planned that the drive would be, as you're looking at the front of the building, the drive would be to the left. And then you, you turn to the right, to the front, and that parking there, continue to the left, right, and the rear doors um, for the parking for the police. Um, and, and speaking with all of them, and uh, we were planning on allowing the, the general public to use our conference room. We said, why don't we shift the, the, the driveway to the right, and then have some parking in the front, have parking on the, on the right hand side of the building and allow the general public to walk in from the side of the building as opposed to having to use the front door and lobby of the police department. Mm -hmm. By doing that, we can eliminate uh, one, uh, two secure doors that we need inside the police station to doing that. So when you went to the select board had a meeting or zoning or planning, we had a meeting, they would have their own access card to get in and that would allow them access into the conference room only mm -hmm. and the conference room would have, uh, depending on the plan, you know, some have one ADA accessible bathroom and some have two, mm -hmm. and then they'd be able to exit that way. They wouldn't mm -hmm. have to walk through the front doors of the police department. So that right. will save us, uh, in the long run, uh, some money with uh, aftermarket security items. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. And I should think, I may. I mean, to disrupt you, Chief, yeah. while you're thinking about it. Um, and site prep is separate, right, for all of these. So tearing down the old one and uh, tearing down the old one is separate, yes, yeah. but all other all other all other um, site work is included with the cost here. 
tearing down the old. Oh, you mean removing the town shed? Oh, okay. So that didn't work. And actually, I, I can address that okay. momentarily if you want. Um, the original I had us coming in this way, and going around to the garage in the back with parking right here and the parking over here. Um, this design here, and they actually use the existing property line along with the setback requirements. Assuming that you know the town plays a, being a good neighbor and and maintain those setbacks, mm -hmm. um, we could get, at least with this plan here, a minimum of 30 parking spaces on that lot. Um, if you really wanted to, you could actually put some parking back here if, 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 needed, if there was ever a thought that it was needed to do that. Mm -hmm. So, let's say the general public is going to be parked here, go straight into the conference room and not have to worry about what's going on in the rest of the police department over here. So. Is the proposal to also remove the fence up there? Well, I know that one in particular, but keep it without the, a fence. The fence, the fence would come down. Without, but you're not going to put another fence up. I'm not sure at this point. Okay. Um, but that doesn't really pertain to this right, as much no. as you can do it in a budget item if right, you needed to. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, so, the select board, and the select board chair, would like us to think about these items. Well, we're considering these things. I don't even have my coffee room done. Um, I apologize. Um, the increased co operating costs for a new building, uh, the heating, cooling, water, sewer, electricity, parking, uh, lot, um, roofing, and, and the other regular building maintenance. Do we have, um, probably not at this point, but we don't have any, um, we don't have a breakdown of um, operating costs as proposed by any of these uh, builders. Like I know Gruen had, had, had talked about um, uh, reduced um, heating costs. We, should, we could expect X amount of um, savings, right? But did, did any of the other proposals talk about that? Or no. no it's just that. They, they just mentioned there are values for the insertion, <coughs> putting in the, uh, either in the basement or I mean in the, uh, the crawl space, the sides, the walls, or the ceiling. And then, of course, the logistical costs of moving um, the police operations from the current location in the basement to wherever. Uh, any other additional startup costs that may be associated with that. And then uses for the town hall afterwards. They'd like us to, uh, to uh, if, if we are going to be moving out of here, or they, the police department, would be moving out of here, what does that mean for downstairs? What does it mean for upstairs? As far as installation, that sort of thing, um, and what kind of savings can we see for HVAC, electricity, mold remediation? I know we have those ongoing costs currently. If we're not renting up space downstairs or or using it in any other way, then we still have to maintain um, the remediation program, that sort of thing. What does it mean for the elevator? Do we need an elevator <coughs> if, we're, if we're moving anything downstairs? So. Like well, you have a walk-in so, level on it downstairs. We do. Yeah. Right, but you need the elevator to well, go up floor, to this floor. This floor. Yeah. yeah. So you still need to have this yeah. elevator. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't think we're prepared to answer all these questions tonight, but it, we wanted to start looking at these. Um, yeah, there, are, there will be advantages and disadvantages to building a new building. For sure. I have no idea. I've been trying to figure it out myself. What? I'll ask Susan. NC, NC question NC, mark. Question I'm guessing mark. no charge, but oh, okay. it could be. Yeah. Um, so to know, the lieutenant has started calling around to um, some uh, police departments that are about the size of the proposed to see mm -hmm. what type of heating system they have, whether it's propane or oil, and what are their costs. Um, I know we've got a couple. Of so far, and, and we've had um, um, no figure is higher than 5000 for heating and cooling, and that was for oil or propane. And I think electricity was uh, no, no higher than 5000 um, I thought that's what they were planning on. I assume it was budget, but they one, one only, they only spent $2,700. So we're, we're trying to wrap those, those figures mm -hmm. up. So we, next meeting we'll have some uh, uh, additional figures for that. 
Now, when you're looking at um, heating systems and cooling or systems, whatever, don't you think that we should be kind of looking at the same things that every other town administration has so you, you can buy more in bulk, like oil versus propane? It what do we have here? Oil. 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 The fire station has both, I think. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, you know, the more you can say that you're going to purchase, the better price you're going to get. So, I don't know. I think I would kind of try to go where the majority of it is. We purchased where the school district, too. As well. Yeah. And they were talking about the sewer and water district was talking about coming along, too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, you know, that's just a suggestion. So, Chief, just to be sure I'm following the Five thousand dollars is an estimate of the heating cost plus an estimate of the cooling costs. So increased electrical use in the summer months. Is that right? Sure. Okay. How is it that there's no uh, sewer? No, it's just water. Geez, other than uh, well, you have a septic over there, so probably every couple of years you have to pay someone to come and pump up the tank. Mm -hmm. And septic is not part of the... It is. It is part of it. Septic is part of included in all of these. Septic, yeah. septic tank? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are there differences in septic design? We have no septic designs as of yet. Because that's an expense that somebody has to bear at some point. And no one's going to bear that expense until you have to say, all right, you now have the authority to, to go forward with the project. It's yours, it's yours. Now you have to submit the design. But, mm -hmm. but it is included in all of the, the codes. And what's there is not usable, is what you're saying? No. no that's okay. going to come out. That's going to come out. Yeah. Yeah. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be starting from scratch on okay. that side. Uh, there, there are area departments that used to be in the basement of their, their respective town hall. Like Farmington used to be in their basement. Mm -hmm. Do you think that... Well, the lieutenant's calling to see how much, uh, how much they're saving now, how much save, yeah. they're saving on the other end, too, by not having... Well, Dover was in the basement, Or if they are it? saving anything. Well, Dover PD was in the basement. However, they're now utilizing that for parking enforcement in yes. other areas. Yeah. So is there really going to be savings there? Probably not. No, well, no, but, but it's compared to anyway, a self-contained building still, versus... But they're still, they're still yeah. using it, still maintaining it. Mm -hmm. and actually, I think they've gone through and done some some uh, rehab right. downstairs for everybody else who's been there, so... Do you know if that's coming out of the police budget or the, the city budget? I think it's the city budget. I think I read something in the paper that said that. <laughs> and, and further down the road, um, what does the town hall look like after the, after the if the police department leaves here? What is it, what are, what will we suggest? I think it's a little out of our scope, but uh, anyways, it's the chair wanted us to think about it. Um, is it something we should be renting out? Is it something we can use for storage? That sort of thing. I think it's a little premature to really be thinking about that, but um, there are a few things to be, to be worried about, keeping the heating costs down, you know, worrying about freezing pipes, that sort of thing, so. Yeah, and I, I think I can see the, the board chair's point is that um, I've, I need to ask the chief what the, what the process looks like going forward, but take this to public hearing, these questions. Right, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I think it's a little premature for us to really be, to be able to answer some of these questions. Like, <laughs> we're going to insulate the, 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 the third floor of this building. Well, the newspapers? Yeah. I saw that, you know, it, it, I think it should just be flip, you know, this is as simple as throwing newspapers out of cover with a tarp. Well, I, I, I have to done. believe that would have been done by now, yeah. considering <laughs> Some of the other projects that have been done yeah. and how they've been done. So, um, so uh, I don't know much about plumbing or anything. So, my question might be stupid, but when your your pipes are going up, that means you can't shut down the bottom, right? Like I say, if the police moved out and you wanted to just not have to worry about frozen pipes downstairs, but because you're coming from the ground up, you probably can't shut them off, so it won't to go up to the second floor or whatever, right? Am I well, there's nothing up there to freeze other than right. this floor. Well, here, this floor, yeah, this floor. But you, you use, you're using the same pipes that are in the police station, right? Correct. 
Right. So yeah. you can't shut the police station off because then you're going to not get the oh, money no, to this point. No, you couldn't. What you, what you could do, though, is you could turn the heat all the, almost all the way down. Yeah, um, just so it does Because uh, <coughs> you know, the ground alone will keep the temperature down there above freezing. Okay. Okay. The only place I'd really be concerned about, though, is uh, is that end of the building because that's not on the ground. That's that's exposed to the elements. Okay. And um, you know, if you don't have somebody move in there, you know, you have to maintain it at least at forty degrees, keep everything freezing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Summertime, you don't have to worry about the AC. You can let it get as hot as whatever mm -hmm. down there. You know, no one's using it. So. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the pieces I think that we can really focus on. And if, and if the lieutenant can help us find out some of this information, it would be very helpful. Is the is the first uh, set of bullet points with the uh, the um, increased operating costs and and, and and of course the decrease in um, operating costs for um, for the town hall maybe as you realize. I mean, I think sewer and water is not even um, it's not going to be a huge difference because what you use down there is going to stop here. I mean. I don't think they're separate, right? I mean, it's all in one bill. It's all in one bill. Well, same with electricity. You have a it's minimum. Gonna, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. But <coughs> we, the only way we're going to be able to find out is we say, all right, this is the si your size of the building. Mm -hmm. What you're paying per year mm -hmm. for the type of fuel that you're using. Mm -hmm. So, but this this building would probably be still what it is with you here versus with you not here. So the only thing increase would be water up there. You you would have your own water bill then. Just like the fire station does. I mean, I think you're going to have parking maintenance, both for plowing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. right. you're going to have heating and cooling in the new one. Mm -hmm. The water is going to be modest. The electricity mm -hmm. be modest. Mm -hmm. Roofing, I, I think we'll look at what's in there, but they're probably look, saying it's a 20-year roof. And they're coming to that 30-year roof. Yeah, so. yeah. Unfortunately, Charlie, we've been, we, <laughs> we've been experiencing it with the new highway uh, shed. It was all supposed to be a 20 year roof that um, the subcontractor that the contractor hired didn't use the, the best shingles, shall we say. Um, and we've been having some issues over this. So. Um, I, I hope this is not a digression, but yeah, when. when when people making proposals make proposals about energy savings and so forth, um, it's all of that is as good as our ability to enforce. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why it's important that we need to have someone, I mean, they don't have to be there 24 7, but they need to check in frequently and say, What are you putting on the roof? I want to physically see it. Show me the packaging and make sure it says on the package 20, 30, whatever the case might be. And then we'll recontact afterwards to, for any warranties and, and whatever. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, yeah, I was, yeah, I won't tell you what the university just did. So on the town hall for the, um, for the new building, set, um, startup and connection costs would be your radios, your computers, and you'd probably have to get your own cable now too, which you didn't have, which you would connect it to here. Uh, Correct. Okay. The TV portion, we, I, I, we don't pay for it. We're, we're just paying for the internet service. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Logistical costs, I mean, I can't see that that's going to be huge. I mean, that's just basically, you know, once we get the building, it's just a matter of us picking up our equipment and, and bringing it right. to, the, to the new building. Because it's not like so there's a time lot that you have to be out of this building by a certain time and day, you know, I mean, so you could do it as you... We well, do like Farmington, you know, they, they took a room or two a day, mm -hmm. and sorry, going back to the pickup trucks or mm -hmm. whatever, and brought it over, set the room up, and then yeah. when everything was over there, then... How long did it take Farmington? I think they told us, but I don't remember. How long did it take them to do their full transition? I remember them saying they did a piecemeal, so... Right. And they're a larger department. So, so all of these proposals include include the surveillance systems and the no no, no. that's the, the that's the turnkey for the building itself. Um, 
we've got prices for an alarm system, we've got prices for security, uh, you know, you pass cards with certain doors, uh, and surveillance systems. Those would be the same regardless of which proposal you go with, but you know ballpark for those. I think you're probably looking at about 150000 for everything additional, the security alarm, Surveillance, telephone. What you have here in this building will stay here in this building for that security systems. Uh, what we're going to do is, and we're going to say something, because we just upgraded the uh, digital recorder. So we're going to take that with us. Okay. We saved the old recorder, and that has sufficient enough space on it for the cameras uh, that are up here and outside. We don't worry about the cameras downstairs yeah. anymore. So we'll plug that back in. Okay. But all the cameras will, will stay with this building. We'll just have the cameras for it. And that's because you don't you don't have to save them for. Um, is it? Didn't you get a new one because you needed to save them for so many right. the, years? Right. The old system would only and, allow yeah. us to save about ten to twelve days. Yeah. And we need to save for at least thirty days. For trying for, for, uh, for trials and, and stuff like that. That's what. Okay. So you wouldn't have that here. So right. that would work right here. Correct. Yeah. I mean, the only time you really need to, to save something here is if something happens and you go back and say, you know, yesterday, uh, you know, someone busted a window here, let's look at it again. Mm -hmm. You really don't need to save it. Right, right. So. so where are we with um, removing the old town shit? And you said you were going to, you wanted to mention something about that. Okay. I, I've spoken with the folks at Mid Construction. Uh, actually, I started talking to them back in September. And just said, hey, in the event that we decide to do something with the property, whether we go there or not, the town, the old the shed needs to go. Mm -hmm. How much would you would you charge a town to, to demo the entire property? And that includes taking down the building, taking down the outbuildings, mm -hmm. getting rid of all the cement work that's on the property, the, 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 the footings and whatnot, getting rid of the uh, the telephone pole, utility pole structures that they have set up all, all yeah. around there, mm -hmm. getting rid of the old tanks, Getting rid of the fence and cutting down some trees, thirteen thousand five hundred. If they did it during the season, you mean summer? During the summer season, eleven thousand five hundred. If they did it during December, January, or February, the rough season. I don't know how to use that though. As long as it's done before you need it. Well, I, I, I have. I'm going to be talking with this local on, on Monday about that. Uh, I think I can find 11500 to get that and take care of the existing budget. 2017. 2017, so we don't have to worry about the future. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So. I mean, I was saying you didn't have to worry about being off-season to do it because who cares? Nobody's there, right? Right. And there's no rush for it. But, yeah. you know, they're looking for work during the wintertime. Yeah. And if we get the town can save $2,000. Yeah. I don't think that's so, a bad price. Do you think that's a bad price? No. I think it's a pretty You know, we had a gentleman from, uh, I think it was from Rochester, that you know said many times he wanted the, yeah. the steel part from the building. Yeah. Uh, but he won't commit and won't commit. And I tried to call him several times. Uh, Jody tried to right, contact him several times. Him. Just get a commitment from this guy so mm -hmm. that so that we don't have to pay remove if, he's gonna, if he wants to come down in January. But mm -hmm. he just won't return any of our calls. Yeah. But even though at the beginning he says, yeah, I, I, really want, I really want the top part of the building. But... We can't wait for him or anybody else. Mm -hmm. and nobody else was interested in the building. They, they put it up a bit, uh, at least two or three times, mm -hmm. and he was the only one that even suggested mm -hmm. uh, interest. We would have entertained a dollar bid, to be honest. I know, that you one, wanted yeah. to just We just wanted to yeah. yeah. remove it, so. We were, we'll give you the dollar. Just right, we'll give you the dollar. <laughs> I'll, just, we'll yeah, I'll pull it out of my right. coffee fund, you know? But, um, <laughs> yeah, no one, there was one gentleman that really wanted it, but. So, you know, yeah. And you return yeah. maybe a call every once in a while and say, oh, yeah, I'm still interested. Yeah, and then yeah, you never. You try to call back to confirm and check. So, so. We will be anxiously awaiting your uh, your magic pot of money on Monday night, I guess. So <laughs> let's see where that's coming from. Uh, okay. Um, so at this point, do you have a recommendation? Are you, are you ready to make a recommendation, or do you want to... Uh, are there more questions that you think we need to be asking? Well, I think we should answer these first. Okay. Maybe plan a meeting in January. January, yeah. And um, just just see where it goes. And I know what we. I, I know we're getting close to the March, and it may not happen yeah. this, this March because 
you know, I'd like to make sure that we have all or as many answers right, to as many questions as possible before we bring it forward. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, what, what like what's the deadline to? Are you looking to get it done this year, uh, 2018? Well, originally when I started, I was kind of hoping to be 2018. I know, yeah. Um, but as we get into it, and, and you're looking at the, the number of uh, uh, follow-ups and whatnot that we need to do, it, so just between now and you know yeah. the deadlines to get it on the town warrant and, and all that stuff, it just, I mean, we might just be rushing it. In, in dealing with the financing, too, you know, we had a, a very good experience with, um, with the USDA mm -hmm. uh, this time around for funding. It's very labor intensive dealing with them at times. So, if we were going to go, no, I'm not going to speak for the whole board, but in my opinion, if we were going to go forward, it was the best deal last mm -hmm, time mm -hmm. was going through the USDA. Um, I don't know if we would have time to get everything right. in order to, to be able to do it for this season. Yeah. So, but if we could start doing some of the prep work, um, you know, the it's, it's not going to go to waste. I mean, people, I mean, it, that building needs to come down one way or another, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, and that, you know, if something else in the meantime pops up for the town, mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, municipal building, whatever mm -hmm. someplace else, you have an asset over there that you can now sell without having to worry about getting rid of the demo first. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, if we can, we, if we can do that this year. Did you sure. hear back from, um, from the Wentworth family uh, relative to, um, I have the land swap. I couldn't I remember if you, if you no, sent an email not. saying you did or you no, had I not. Um, so they may I not figured have like, been like we get to the, the holidays sure. and then shortly after we, we would still again. go speak with the, the kids and yeah. see what the if the family might be willing to do something. Right. Yeah. I know we we had um, I mean we just sort of teased around the idea of maybe the Turcotte field. Correct. There was a gentleman in on Monday evening. I can't remember what company he was representing, but um, they do solar farms. Uh, and one of the locations um, would be the uh, Turcotte field. So, I'm not saying we're going to do it, but I'm just saying that that may not be an option moving right. forward. So, sure, yeah. or, or it's, it may. I mean, it may not be a good deal for us. But it's other municipalities in the area have been doing that. So, yeah. we'll think about it at least. Um, two questions. One related to the process on an RFP. Do you need to do a public hearing? Well, there'll be several. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So, okay. uh, and then um, in terms of town meeting, uh, I'm open to argument either way, but does it make sense to have some part of the project to take the town meeting so that you can assess you know, the, the sense of the voters, at least at one town meeting, about the wisdom of the project? And if they said, no way, no how, you know, right. over my dead body did we ever move out of the Ramsdell Historic Town Hall. Right. That might tell you something. On the other hand, if they say, how, why the hell or why the heck didn't you get this to us this year to right. approve, that also tells you something. Mm. Uh, well, there are, there is, yeah. There's already been, we're, there were rumblings at the last town meeting when we were talking about a fire truck and, and transfer station and other things. Why isn't the police station first? Um, so there are there is a very vocal group in town that want to see this project move forward. I, but I think they probably want it to move forward in, in a logical, sensible way. I don't think they want to rush something through just but for I sake think, of doing I something. Think, yeah. So yeah, but I think you have a good point. I think easy, small steps, you know. And if you can just put out what we know today, or or by the end of the year. I, I guess I just don't know what that step would be. With the I'm not opposed to. Putting up trial balloon, I, I don't think that's a good idea. But what would we send to the town meeting to even? What if you did like just an information say, you know, the project looks like it may cost X amount of dollars, and based upon uh, you know when Suzanne had prepared that CIP package and town budget for the next ten years or so, this is what it would look like if you did it mm -hmm. for the next ten years, mm -hmm. you know, 20, uh, 2019, 2020, 21, 22. And whatnot, so yeah. so you have some idea as to what you could expect on the roadway. Yeah, I mean, if you took an average of all of this, and that would give you a ballpark, a good ballpark right. figure of what it would be. Right. Well, I know we would want to do a, an informational session, anyways, mm -hmm. based on all of that. Mm -hmm. I, I, 
You just I, get my, more in a town meeting. I, if you well, get enough, oh, even if you sure. get enough there. My concern is that town meeting lasts long enough <laughs> and that people may not be in the mood to sit around listening to a large presentation about a very expensive project. I mean, or maybe they will. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I would personally want to sit there, and I'm in favor of doing something. So, you know. Well, what about the, the public hearing for the budget committee and have them be there, you know, or, or um, the one in the 1st of February or whatever, and have something there just to kind of bring it up? Again, I'm not opposed to any of it. It's just I wonder how it works within the, the – there's so much that – each group is trying to deal with it, each step of the process already, complicating it. Uh, what's been trying to yep. um, complicating it with with with, um, with with issues that may or may not come to fruition. I, I wonder if I just I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if it might be yeah. too cumbersome. But and do you know? I, I recall, <coughs> excuse me. The w town warrant for the twenty seventeen town meeting was complex, mm -hmm. and it, it took sure. us a while to work through it. Do you know, is the 2018 town warrant likely to be as complex? No, no. not in the least bit. Well, no. well, speak for myself. I don't believe so. <laughs> okay. I, and I know so far, nothing has come up that would that would that would would that would lead me to believe it would be. So, because I, I guess both I, I think both points are well taken. The only thing that would make it as complicated it was last time, Charlie, is if, if this project were somehow shoehorned in, then it would be. I appreciate your patience. I, I, I think you're right. I, I, I've been, I've been <laughs> it's on the only side been 20-something years, right, Bob? Yeah. Almost 25 years, so, you know, what's one more, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I think bef before, at some point, we should probably pick one or two mm -hmm. to bring to the, temp bring to the first mm -hmm. public hearing yeah. instead of all five. Mm -hmm. And say, these are the two plans, these are the best mm -hmm. two for these reasons, and whatnot. You know, you tell people you got a choice of five, it's just going to be very complicated. No, so you have to I think we should, you know, yeah. within ourselves, right. or either, even maybe just pick one. Say, right, you know, this, for these are the reasons. This is why we picked this one, mm -hmm. and this is the one that we we go forward with. Um, you know, when you ask the, when you ask the vendors to come in and, and uh, you know speak at the meetings, and it might be more than one meeting, mm -hmm. um, uh, they might get a little. Uh, they might not be as happy to do it if they know that. I mean, there's still five on the table, and right. mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And they may have to come in more than once. And, else we want to cover this evening? I mean, I think this is great. Thank you for sharing this with us. We have copies of, um, Caroline has them, and I, I give you a copy tonight, but I don't know what they are, of um, each of these proposals, so we can review them. There's enough copies, so, for us to review. Um, but I wonder, I mean, to me, the benchmark, even when we opened the bids, or rather the RFPs, when they came in a couple weeks ago, or a month ago, um, there's not a lot there. The chief was being charitable when 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 he explained their um, their packet. Um, they um, and they um, to, so to me they were really out of the wrong way to do it. Um, I guess I could be convinced, but otherwise, but um, and um, uh, was, um, all the rest were were still in the running for me. So. I mean, I like the idea of um, either the ICS mm -hmm. or modular, but um, and, and those, like I said, those two folks that reached out to us at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, they came up with their own design plans even before we asked for them, mm -hmm. right. and, um, and you know, they're they're competitive. So yeah, uh, and Richie, of course, is is, is relatively local. Mm -hmm. I don't know where Karina was out of. I don't remember, but um, somewhere in. Benchmark is out of Westbrook, Maine. So we got Richie uh, Bestway is out of Francistown. Mm. And Brown's out of Rochester. All right. So for our next meeting, I'm going to do, it would be best to do one of those doodle polls again. I mean, I want to make sure that many people can be here as possible. Mm -hmm. Again, I apologize. I was just, Chief sent me an email saying, hey, were you planning on doing a meeting? Like, yes, I was. 
Thank you for the reminder. We'll stop coughing long enough to send out an email. <laughs> but um, thank you for the reminder. But um, we will need to meet again, and hopefully we'll be able to get some of the uh, the first bullet points answered uh, so we can move forward, see what the next logical steps are. Um, making the recommendation to the select board, and then perhaps it is an informational session so we can try to gauge support one way or another for um, one path. I know when the when the I attended it, but when the school board was uh, entertaining um, uh, whether it was building on to the school, I doing additions over there. They had seven different plans, wasn't it? Something like that. Nine different plans originally, yeah, and so they just whittled it down. It still was a lot when mm -hmm. that was being presented. So um, might make sense to take two or three of the maybe the modular ICS in a stick built. I don't know. Um, to show the three different options but, and, and go from there. And we also don't want to, if we're not serious about one style of building, I don't want to waste their time, you know, have people coming to do a presentation just to, for presentation's sake. But, um, but that probably would not be until, I don't know, if, if the board would, the select board would have time to do it before town meeting. Doing, and, and you know the budget committee. I mean, they're have their hands full too. So I don't want to speak for that, but I know they're busy. Um, and we know the heat works. Um, anything else we need to discuss this evening? If not, I'm, I'll, so I'll send out. A, I'll do it when I get home. I'll send out a poll. He was best, but probably won't be until June. We shouldn't be until January. Right. We should stop by for copies of the. Yes, Caroline can uh, give you copies of. Uh, we have six. Five? Five. Okay. We're going to have to sign them out, three. maybe, and then have to bring them back. I'm sorry. That was only five on the committee anyway, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. There, there are six copies. There are six copies, but we're, we're retaining one set, right. so. Right. so you can have your own guys at this point. Yeah. Have you signed it out <laughs> and uh, you, uh, bring it back? Um, I'm going to just drop you for an email and tell you that. I'll, I'll, I'll send her an email and tell her to, to be on the window. So thank you all for coming. Yes, thank you very much. And thank, thank you for your rearranging your time as well. Your plans are all good. Sure. It's good to keep the, the, the ball rolling so we don't forget. Yeah, thank you, Chief, for everything you've been doing. And the Lieutenant.